welcome to Matthew's Brick Builds, and today we're going over five amazing new leaked LEGO Star Wars sets. I'm very excited to share these sets with you guys today, but before we go on, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, turn the notifications button on if you have not already. And also before we go on, I'd like to thank the LEGO Star Wars and LEGO Le Reddit Leak community for these amazing pictures early in advance in January. And just to have a little quick reminder, all these sets are coming out on March 1st, 2024. And if you want to see a video on every leaked LEGO Star Wars set that we have known till just about June and August, you can check out that video on the end screen. So as we go on here, we'll be going on to LEGO Star Wars set 75379. This was the billable R2D2. It'll be coming in at $100, 1000 500, 1,050 pieces, and of course it has your R2D2, your printed display plaque, which is really important to print it now, and also your exclusive minifigure of being Darth Malak. So that is really cool. Don't really know if there are stickers included in this build or not. Kind of fuzzy to tell, but for the pictures that we do have, it does look really nice. The third leg does get retracted into R2D2, so that does look good. And the two pincer extender arms also you can attach or not have attached, so I do like the versatility of that. And you can see in this real life image, it does look pretty nice. It'll be cool to do a comparison between the $100 RT2 and the $240 UCS RT2. So stay tuned for that if you'd like to see that in the future. And here is a close up of the Darth Malak minifigure. It looks really nice. I do like the cape and also that kind of um, mouth mold. I don't really know what it's called, but it is really cool. And then that is it for this set. We'll be moving on to LEGO Star Wars set 7538. Seven, the boarding, the Tantive 4, 502 pieces, 55 US dollars. And as you can see, it looks really nice. Seven minifigures are included in the set for 25th anniversary. Arc Trooper 5, the Star Vader printed arms. Um, we also have the Stormtroopers from the 2023 mech set, Captain Antilles, and also two Rebel Fleet Troopers from the 2023 Yavin 4 Rebel base set. That looks great. Here's a picture of Fives. Highly controversial minifigure, but I think it was the best we could have got from LEGO in LEGO's current state of the minifigure quality. So that's all right. And as you can see from this image, it does look really nice. Jan packed a bunch of small pieces and it does look very nice. And I do see there is a bunch of stickers and I'm looking closer at it. There are a bunch of minifigs, but that is all right. Or I mean, the stickers, not minifigures. But it, that does all right. And as you can see from one of these back images right here, is that there are little kind of flipper things to make the stormtroopers and rebel troopers go flying. There is a back door for Vader to come in and out of for that classic scene, and also a one by one circular um, cylinder that has what has Captain Antilles on it and Vader force choking him. So that is kind of gruesome that Lego put that in a set, but I love it. I think it's going to be really cool, but that is it for these first two sets. We're moving on to the midi scale sets coming, all coming out March 1st, as I said. 75375 is the Millennium Falcon coming in at, I believe, 80, 70, 80 US dollars, 921 pieces. It looks amazing as we already had a mini scale Millennium Falcon. It is brand new. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I love that the bottom kind of greebling is all in that silver color. It looks just incredible. And as you can see from the back images, it does look really cool. You got the dimensions. As you can see, it looks to be five or 9.5 inches long by five inches tall. And as you can also see a printed Lego Star Wars Lang Falcon on that one, four by four modify a plate and also the Falcon going to hyperspace. And then as you can see, there's also, it looks to be a lot of printed elements in this set. And also from this kind of blown up picture, we have a, a 25th anniversary brick, which is just really nice. And some amazing little details included in here. It looks fantastic. And it looks that cone piece for the cockpit is also new as well. I think that's a three by three or a four by four kind of circular piece. I think that's new. I hadn't seen that piece before. It looks really, really nice. And now moving on to our next set, being Lego Star Wars mini scale set 753. 
seven six the tanta v4 coming out with 654 pieces i believe 60 dollars, 70 dollars retail price so that is pretty good as you can see it is a very long model but it also does look very nice with the 11 engines on the back and also comes with another 25th anniversary brick and then it also has Tantra 4 on that 4x4 modified dish. Looks really nice. I do like it a lot. There are some other things to point out, like they have the gun turrets on there, and it also has the boarding tubes, and also the cockpit does look really nice. But I think this is the lesser of the three models that we are getting on March 1st. And what's the last one, you might ask? It is LEGO Star Wars Set 75377, the Invisible Hand, coming at... 557 pieces March 1st and from this image it looks just incredible it looks really nice it's a nice separatist capital ship for the first time for Lego Star Wars and as you can see from one of these blurry images it can come apart so that is really nice and definitely is playing off of episode 3 of Revenge of the Sith it looks really nice some printed elements of that separatist logo on the side and I do like how it is shaped, $55, forgot if I said that or not. But all in all, these sets look really nice, and hopefully we're getting more in the future, praying for a mini-scale vendor coming out in 2025. So I hope we stay tuned for that. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, turn notifications button on if you haven't already, and stay tuned for reviews on probably all these sets coming in 2024. I'll see you guys then. Have a great rest of the day. May the Force be with you.